Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. So this is the Gratitude Show. I'm Mr. Century City, Adam Torres, and we have Tiffany T. Tiffany? Hello, hello. <laughs> so what we're talking about today is we are talking about, we're talking about gratitude. We're talking about spreading positivity. We're going to share some stories with you, and we're just going to have a bunch of fun. What do you say, Tiffany? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Hey, you guys, I'm having technical difficulties. Can you guys hear me? Can, hmm. can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Anybody? Yeah, I can hear you great. Sam? For sure. Adam? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Yeah, Sam can hear you. Can you hear me? It says we both sound fine. Haywood 310, oh, how's it going? All right. Well, let me let's uh, let's kick it off. Um, if this is your first time um, watching, so the whole idea behind the gratitude show. Welcome, Zach. Welcome, welcome. Um, and you. So the whole idea behind this and where this came up from is I was doing these periscopes and I was doing all these live shows. And what we would do is we just talk about gratitude. So talk about things that we're happy for, things that we can be um, appreciative for that are going on in our life. And the whole idea is really simple. We want to build a community of people that are focused on showing gratitude, that are focused on expressing love and really just you know, a place you can come talk and stay focused on what I think we're, um, oh, not a problem. <laughs> we're, we're just, we're just moving along. You get in there when you can, Tiffany. Um, um, so again, so what we're, what we're focused on is we're saying, okay, so, you know, we know that every single day we're going to be inundated with all these other things. There's all these people out there that are vying I for still our can't attention. Hear anything. Um, there's people that we can hear you just fine. Can you guys hear mm -hmm. me? I can hear you. We can all hear. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can hear you just fine. We are. I concur. So let's see. Well, let's, uh, I'm sure that it'll, it'll start back up in a second. All right. Great. Great, Sam. Um, I, I could hear her also. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, oh God, sorry. she's the one that can't, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Yay. I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear you guys. I was just wondering. If oh yeah, no, we can hear you. You're good. So I was, there we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Sam. So what I, I explained, there we go. <laughs> so Tiffany, I was just talking about the idea for the gratitude show is just saying that we're trying to build this community of people that are focused on gratitude, spreading love, positivity, and coming together, showing great stories and just reaffirming that what we want is positive things in our life. We want to, um, you know, we want to be uplifted and we want that connection with other people. Um, so that was my kind of contribution to it. And you throw in what you want to throw in and I'm going to start this Facebook feed too. I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot too because I have technical difficulties, but that's okay. okay. I think gratitude is, thank you, Adam, is just key to having a kick-ass life. Like that's what our slogan is kind of, I don't know, we have, don't have an official slogan, but um, for me in my life, gratitude has worked wonders. And the the meaning behind gratitude is like once, if you can find gratitude in anything, just a little things, like I'm a super big dork. I'll be like, like, thank you for even blab working right now for my speaker. Okay, thank you, it got fixed. Thank you for this chai tea I'm drinking. I mean, just everything, but not only like just saying it, but like feeling it, feeling the gratitude. And in turn, that attracts more of what you're grateful for into your life. And then also it shines out to other people. Like I like for me, for example, I like to lead by example because I like to be the change I wish to see in the world. And it's one of my favorite quotes. And when you radiate in gratitude, it, you can't, it, it's contagious. Would you agree, Adam? No, I completely agree with it. Um, and that's the, and that's the whole point. And I agree with you completely on that. Haywood 310. It just, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're making you, you, things happen to you all the time. So negative things are going to happen to you all the time. I mean, that's just part of life or, or I should say perceive negative things because some things we need to happen in order to grow into, you know, other people that maybe we need to be. So it's really our reaction to those things that I think are going to make all the difference. And that just make the person and that 
ultimately build what I like to call just a, you know, a better, um, not robot, but whatever you consider yourself. <laughs> um, what was that? What was, we were talking okay. earlier, uh, Tiffany, and I want you to share that. We were talking earlier about how simple a word could be. And some people might think it's nitpicky. Oh. Some people might think that, you know, it's over the top. What was your word? Remind me the word and I'll tee it up for you. Pun intended, Tiffany T. <laughs> Stimulated. Stimulated. So I'm, I, I create my own language. Adam and I have like a language that <laughs> if, if normal people heard us, we'd be like, what no. are those people No, about? don't. <laughs> <laughs> so the whole idea. But yeah, I like to. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, so, Go ahead. So, the, so this is the whole you idea. And then, I, and then I, I want you to talk about your word. So we're talking about, um, you know, how we how we deal with a situation that maybe isn't the most pleasant. And uh, Tiffany was like, she said, so her word was stimulated. So she's I was like, so, hey, how's your day going? And she's like, man, I've been having a stimulated week. And, and so her perception of that, and I kind of knew what she was talking about, but I've never heard her use the word. So her perception was essentially saying, you know, I've had some challenges or some things I'm perceiving as challenges that uh, that I had to deal with. But ultimately, it's how she's dealing with them that's building a person. So talk a little bit more about maybe, Tiffany, how you came up with that idea or the whole stimulated thing and how people can use that. Absolutely. Um, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, whoever doesn't know me, I'll, I'll enlighten you for a minute. I've been practicing the law of attraction. For eleven years, I've, and um, I've I'm pretty level pretty level expert at catching a mood that I'm in that's vibrating at a low vibration and turning it around right away because that's the key. I mean, we're all human. We all get pissed off. We all like have feelings, emotions, rage, whatever, love, hate. And it's just the thing is, is not to stay in that vibration. I like to vibrate at a high level, which the highest level of vibration is love. Um, and so. When it's really easy for me now, I'm sorry, to, I, just, I, just, I want to repeat that. Highest vibration. What? Say that again. What? Say that again. Is love. The highest vibration is love. That's awesome. Go ahead. Sorry, I didn't want to cut yeah. you off. I just wanted to remember. That's the that. ultimate vibration. You, no, no, no. Thank you for asking. That's the ultimate vibration that you want to be vibrating at for complete contentment and joy in all areas. Because when you come from love, I mean, you can't help. But your perception is just completely different. But that's another lesson. Actually, I have a really good point on that too. One thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> One thing um, at a time. Go so for yeah, it. So I, uh, I've been learned, or I've been learned, I've learned through experience to when something pisses me off or makes me angry or whatever, to automatically redirect it. Um, either like if I get sad or I'm, I'm not liking the way I'm feeling, I'll visualize my niece, my niece, her, her smile, her laugh or whatever. She's my favorite person in the world. And just that, that puts me in back into reality. Like, oh, okay, everything's fine. Just like reprogramming your brain. It's kind of on the lines of neuro-linguistic programming. So stimulated comes from, I'm like, I have to come up with a word because I don't like saying I'm pissed off or I'm mad or angry because it puts me in a lower vibration. So I came up with stimulated. I'm like, so Adam, so whenever I see the word stimulated, just, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it means that I'm like pissed and frustrated. I had like a really harsh week, but it was, it was stimulating. See, to me, I like transform it into something positive and it makes me grateful. Like I'm literally grateful for everything. I'm, I feel so blessed and fortunate like what i went through this week was horrific and it probably would have ruined a lot of people but i'm like you know what there's so many blessings in this situation and gosh what a huge learning lesson and i love it i'm like ready for the next one because it's not so often that you know we go through tragic stuff but it's what you do and how you perceive what happens to you to move forward and do something good with it instead of just be negative about it and in your shit <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it happens. No, it probably. happens. No, that's great. No, it happens. I love it. No, that's great. Um, so, <laughs> no, it totally makes um, sense, and I'm a fan so of it. And I can think about how it, I can think it's about happened how. in my life. How when, like, let's say, and I, I did a show, or I'm, I'm writing one, I should say, right now, and it's talking about the idea of um, taking like constructive criticism. It's about like how we take that, mm -hmm. how we receive feedback. And an interesting one that I that I received the other day, um, it's like yesterday actually, is I was on LinkedIn and somebody sent me a comment about one of my videos, my YouTube videos. And it wasn't the nicest comment. And the person just like, you know, my gut reaction is I just don't like this. And then and then he gave me this information about like a speaker that he did like. 
And I was just awestruck. For one, he gave me some quality feedback. Um, for two, he was comparing me to this like amazing, huge, like Ted talking event. And I'm over here thinking, <laughs> I'm over here thinking like, wow, thank you guy. You don't like mine, but you like this. I, I'm, I was actually after that point, when I saw the link he sent me, I was honored and he gave me all this feedback and we had a continued dialogue. And it's interesting because he kind of gained respect for my work and what I was doing, especially when he found out how long I was doing it. I'm like I've been doing this for a month now in terms of putting up a video a day on YouTube, um, just trying to spread the message of positivity mm -hmm. and gratitude as I've like, been doing it do, uh, like one a day. And he's like, then, and then he, I think he even realized he was comparing it to this like, thought out probably took the, the guy six months to, to put together the speech on t a TED talk and he's in front of this huge crowd and I was like man I could have perceived that like or I could have taken that criticism like 10 different ways I could have got offended I could have said oh well this guy just doesn't understand or you know I could have done a bunch of different things but instead I decided to dig a little deeper I, I just I actually was grateful for the feedback immediately I'm like whenever I get that feeling of like oh, I don't like this I kind of try to trick myself and say all right well how can I be grateful for this like where where's the lesson in this and in doing that i i mean i got this great dialogue i actually got a subscriber out of it random <laughs> like and um and you know going forward this guy I, I actually looked at his profile and he launches startups so it was just really super interesting i'm like he spent a lot of time looking through these videos i'm like wow this is great thank you for spending your time on it i was just uh, trying to spread the love um, but that initial like perception of mm. how we take things, EBT emotion brain training. I haven't heard of that. I'm not. I'm not the. I'm the I just heard of that. Today, what is actually. it? What is it? Wow. Please yeah. tell. And if anybody wants to join in the join in the if other seat, yeah, I was on, gonna yeah. say, hey, what? I mean, I know, I, I know, other people. Some people like to just chat. You're welcome to do that. I'd love to read your comments or however you want to participate. But if you want to, I'd love to know what EBT is. I actually don't know. Um, and this is the whole point is we're just exchanging ideas to see uh, building the community. I don't have all the answers. Tiffany doesn't have all the uh, answers. Um, we're all learning together. So that's the whole point. CBT, cognitive behavior training. I'm going to have to Google that one. Thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look that one up. Um, yeah. But that's interesting. You know, I like that you say that, Adam, and you pointed that out. Like, you know, um, I don't think, I mean, I all believe in, in life, we're all messengers, teachers, and students in some way, form, or another. We're all constantly learning um, from one another, whether it's learning about good stuff or bad stuff, or teaching us a, a positive lesson. Or I don't really like to say negative because I don't look at anything as being negative. I look at it as being feedback mm -hmm. in any level. And I love the fact that, Adam, that you brought that up about um, you know how you do get constructive, constructive criticism because handling that like that is valuable information first of all and then what's really even cool is if you're a mature person like yourself Adam and you are secure with you you're not going to take it personal you're going to be like okay cool I respect and value this person's opinion and I'm not I mean thank you like it really is like that person took the time to give you their opinion and on what they thought and that's helpful because we all want to know what people want to see and how they feel and like I was saying to you on the phone earlier you know some people are going to hate it some people are going to love it but it's just just be you just do you because yeah. nobody is ever you're never going to get a hundred percent goodness like of every single person loves it i mean look at how many celebrities have haters like i got my first hater last month i think it was last month <laughs> on um youtube <laughs> He wrote me this extremely obscene comment and said I should kill myself. And I was like, oh my God. wow, thank you. I just made it. You, I, I'm so grateful for you. And he, this guy was like, probably like, what the heck? This girl is fucking crazy. And I'm like, you don't understand. Like, that's, that's feedback. Somebody took the time to go say I should kill myself. And I took it as a compliment because when you have haters, that means you're making it. You're just starting it. You're doing, I mean, it's taking off. And then, so he wrote me back saying I was a fucking idiot. I'm like, I love you too. And you know, I was just like, I wanted to show people also how I handle conflict and what to do about it. I mean, it's not all bad. And how we react to things is a choice. And when you're a mature adult and you are, you just have, you see things as not bad and good in all areas and you find the blessing in every single situation, then it's so much easier. At least for me, it makes my life easier.
No, I, I agree completely. Yeah. Hey, Elizabeth, join in on Facebook just to let you know we're on Blab. Um, just to let you, so know. you can go on there too and check out. That's where the majority of the comments and stuff are happening. But love to hear the Facebook people that are joining. Um, so we're on Blab today and we're doing the gratitude show uh, live. So that's where all the comments and things are at. You're welcome to join. I just put Facebook on here too, just so everybody knows what's going on. But love to have you over here. You're welcome to listen, of course. I, I completely agree with what you were saying. And something else to consider, by the way, Tiffany, and this I think about all the time when I'm going through my own self-reflection, is I'm saying, you know, even people that make comments like that that maybe aren't the most positive, I mean, there's different phases in life, right? There's different seasons. There's different cycles that we're in. I mean, how I thought when I was 16 is probably a little bit different than I thought when I was 20 versus 25 and some of the things I was going through. Um, so... I, I always like to keep that in mind also. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, it's so interesting. Hi, thank you, Elizabeth. Yes, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. You be blessed also. <laughs> so just talking about the seasons in our life and how those things change. And you know, I hope that every year I'm going to try to be a little bit better of a person. And I hope that I'm going to be able to build on what I'm trying to accomplish just as a man and as a person. I mean, just a character I'm trying to forge. Um, so that being said, though, you know, I'm going to have some years that are maybe setbacks. That's just things happen in life. And I don't know what that's going to necessarily look like. I know I can keep focused and I can try and I can keep trying towards that goal. But and I really doubt I'll ever be a person that's going to be on there, you know, posting a rude comment like that. But who knows? I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, I'm so glad you yeah. said that. I, that was like, I was going to remind everybody like, okay, there's a difference between constructive criticism and just evil hatred. Mm -hmm. Because, and you know, I, I've learned, and especially being in the modeling industry for six years, I mean, I had a lot of rejection. You're too short. You're too tall. Your eyes are blue. Your eyes are brown. You're not good enough. Your, your legs are too skinny. You're too fat. I mean, it's just, it's what that specific person's looking for. But coming to like people that like really are harsh and they yeah. don't provide constructive criticism, they say things like you should go kill yourself. That a lot, that says a lot about that person. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't take anything personally. Like go ahead and talk your stuff. Like I, I know I'm secure with me. That's fine. And I respect how you feel, but it's really none of my business. And that you, I just know that tells me that you have a lot of stuff to work on because when you're not in the element of spreading love and compassion, and I know everybody's not like that. They're not like us, but um, like, it's just, it's feedback from me. Like I, w I would never lash out at someone. If I had disagreed, I'd just give my opinion and be like, Hey, this is what I need to work on. Like you told the, you um, asked my opinion when we first got in contact about your, your face or your YouTube page. And I was like, you're awesome. Except for I changed one thing and you're already working on it. You know, like, constructive criticism which is your background i mean big deal and you're like thank you uh, yeah it's next week done like you know it's just like th there's different levels of maturity of handling things and perceptions and people there are evil people there's haters there's lovers there's fighters there's harmony creators you know so it's that's what makes the world go wrong oh love it <laughs> love it and i'm grateful for that <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so I wanted to, I had a couple different things that I wrote down. Let's see. Oh, I did write this down. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> For, Sam I, I wanted to give Sam the shout out. Sam, the... Uh, Yes, I am completely grateful for you, Sam. <laughs> I was thinking, I was just telling, I was telling Tiffany how you uh, helped me with the whole idea of how to stream private um, blab sessions and also how much you've helped me with Snapchat. And I'm like, man, <laughs> I'm like, thanks a lot. I'm like, Tiffany, I don't know how you brought Sam to me, but thank you, universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like thank you for introducing me to Sam. It's awesome. Like thank you for Sam. I'm grateful for Sam. Every oh my gosh, he added no. so much to my life. And like I was telling, I was telling Adam the story. I was like, oh my gosh. And then plus, like Love he's so it, nice to like help me. Like my co-host is having um, some troubles and stuff, so he had to down whatever take a take a seat down. I don't even know what you would call it. I don't have a word for it. But, and then like, I never really even asked Sam to begin with because I know mm -hmm. how busy he is and everything. And it was, I love how things work out because he's just like right there. Like I need, I'm like, my show starts in three hours. I'm like, I didn't want to ask. And, and then now he like totally is 
like I'll just do it with you for the remaining however long. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so cool. And he's got so much going on. Like he does Facebook Live, he does Blab, he does um, Snapchat. And like this guy is a freaking rock star and he's killing it. And I love you, Sam. You're awesome. Thank you for all you do. That's Thank you awesome. for being you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did. I actually wrote that down, by the way. So I'll cover my notes. But there you go. <laughs> I was like, I was saying, <laughs> that was part of the update. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. um, something else that I wrote on here that I just wanted to address because you know a lot of shows are out there. A lot of people do different things, and we all have different messages. And something that I always talk about is that the whole idea of this is it's really about you. So meaning it doesn't have like. I, I don't look at myself as a big facilitator of this. It's just, I'm a reflection of the energy and of the, the, the feedback that I get from people. So meaning most of the content or most of the things I put out or talk about, they're literally me answering questions or, you know, things that people ask me or like day to day, they're, they're just, they may have a question on something. And I just want to say that I'm grateful for the people that are into spreading that gratitude and also that positivity. I mean, it's just works wonders. And it also has been like this crazy affirmation for myself, like all day long, I'm kind of, I don't want to say forced to, but I'm kind of forced to basically think about gratitude in different ways to express it. And my encouragement to you would be to um, think of creative ways to spread positive energy in your life. So I mean, just in general, um, whether it's sending a text to somebody you haven't talked to in a long time or what, just telling them, hey, I'm grateful for you, or whether it's, um, whether it's doing a gratitude show. I mean, Blab is easy. We do one a week. I would love to hear somebody say, hey, we got, a, we got our own gratitude thing going on or gratitude show. I'd love to hear that. I want you, I want you to send me an invite and say, hey, we're talking about gratitude 7 a.m. every Monday at XYZ. I mean, I'm into it. So I'd love for other people to create communities too. So again, this is not about me. This isn't about promoting anything I'm doing or nothing like that. It's literally just saying, how do we build a community and spread that and keep on? So based off of doing that and preaching kind of that, I shouldn't, that message of just saying, how do we spread it further? I can tell you, I have two friends who've started doing their own um, Facebook live live and they're just literally going on there talking about gratitude and engaging their friends and their community of just their family and their loved ones and it's kind of private some have are, are looking at big that bigger fan not fan base but bigger families i should say i didn't mean to say fans. <laughs> so there's just now it's starting a dialogue among families and among other people that is just to give um positive energy essentially so i would really encourage you to I mean, this is once a week, we're getting on here for an hour, but it doesn't end then. I mean, just take it on into your own lives um, and just keep that energy going. I think you'll feel much better for it. Um, oh, wow, welcome. I was busy talking, didn't see all the comments. So thank you, appreciate it, thank you. Um, I get carried away sometimes too. <laughs> That's so true though. Have you, I know you're fine. I love it. Have you um have you noticed that like all the popular stuff is literally adds no value to our human Oscar. existence in life? Like okay, for example, like I love I okay, I'm an analyzer. I'm just a seeker of truth. That's my number. I'm, I'm a life past seven. But at, at the same time, like I cannot wait and I'm so excited because I know we're like the pioneers of everything in the in the revolutionary stage right now of creating more gratitude shows, creating more things like it 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 irks me or it pushes one of my buttons, which I love that too. It makes me stimulated. <laughs> it makes you <laughs> um, stimulated. It's like, why is all this bullshit stuff like the card and I'm sorry about the Kardashians, I'm not hating. Sure. But like they, I mean, they have so many followers or just like I went on Periscope the other day and I was shocked, like how much like, oh my gosh, like how much nonsense. And I know it's just everybody's on their own journey. So it's just like, I cannot wait until the day is like, everybody's talking about like how happy they are and how like thankful that they are and how grateful and how much good they want to do in the world because they found their purpose and what their gift is and they're doing it following it and not worrying about all this mm -hmm. other bs drama and um it just like boggles my mind how well, I, you know, soap operas for example or yeah. whatever it, like it's all the tension and like this well, is i think about that often though and that <laughs> didn't, but if you think about that really um, and i do think about it that didn't happen overnight 
So the way I like to look at it is, right. I mean, it takes time, it takes effort for them to spread that message, whether we agree with it or not. I mean, I don't, I don't care. I'm not here to judge. Um, but whether we agree with it or not, it's like, right. you know, that, that type of programming and to get that type of popularity and to tap into that mindset. I mean, that took 50 years. I mean, if we think about TV, if we think right, about how that developed, if we think about how media has developed, and I guess the challenge that I see, or not the challenge, actually, it's the opportunity. So the opportunity I see is that in them doing all of that, they've created this amazing infrastructure that we can utilize for our purpose, which is to spread love, positivity, and gratitude. So if we look at that, I mean, mm -hmm. I look at it at all as I'm great. I'm grateful for them. Whether I agree with the content or not, doesn't matter. The point is, is they have eyeballs now looking at the content. Yeah, I agree well, with you though, I agree completely. Yeah, my point was, is that like, I'm grateful to be like, especially with like somebody like you and people, great people like Sam and all the great people in the community who are already at that state. Like, if you think about it, like, there needs to be more people doing what we're doing, and then it'll just like Ooh, explode. What is and this? I'm so happy and grateful that, that, we're, that we're on this. That question. That's a great question. Is gratitude created or is it revealed? Is I just caught that question. I appreciate you typing that in. That's interesting. I've never thought about that. Is gratitude created or revealed? What do you think? Interesting. It's about perception. That is interesting. I've no, never heard a, that before. A, Thank you so much. It's an amazing question. Justin. Is it created or revealed? Ooh. Let's, let's yeah, ponder that for like a it. minute. Let's, let's look I, at both sides. Go ahead. You start. I already I have. I know a, that I have an answer. I'm trying to. I'm trying to let this one linger a little bit. I, I suggest everybody else does too. I'm going to try not to jump to a conclusion so quickly because I mean it's a deep question. Is gratitude created or is it revealed? I mean, we could look at it on different levels, right? So it could be, I mean, I would argue, I would argue that me asking an audience when I shoot a YouTube video and when I, um, and when I ask somebody to send out a text to people that basically says, spread gratitude, text your mother and say, hey, I'm grateful for you. Thank you for being in my life, anything. I'm, I'm kind of creating it. I don't think I'm necessarily revealing something groundbreaking to them, I'm kind of creating the action um, so, but then if we look at it on like a higher level, if we're going to talk about it, like on a higher level, like a more esoteric or more of an energy thing, I guess technically you could be, th we could all, it could be revealed to all of us at the same time. So maybe it's not an accident that I'm creating a video. It's not an accident that I'm creating a video that I'm asking for. So are, is it, are we all getting yeah. that kind of revelation simultaneously? Ooh, I don't know. That's that's a great. I don't know. Question. I think it's about like perception. I think people. It's all about how you perceive what is is. I mean, I've I've met people who can't be grateful, but for anything, but they're multimillionaires. They have everything they want, but they're not grateful on the inside. So they're you know. Then I met people who have nothing, absolutely nothing, living on the streets, alcoholics who are just loving life and are grateful for everything. They're grateful for the burrito that they find in the trash can, you know, but that's their perception. I think it's, I think gratitude is everything. And babies are babies grateful. I think babies and children vibrate in the most natural highest state because they're not, they don't have all these preconceived notations yet. And that's an amazing question. I think that, I mean, if you, have you seen a baby and really watched them when they what brings them joy and it's like the littlest things make them happy and they're like entertained for i mean that's i think that's the form of gratitude literally i love your question and that childlike state is so important i love your questions <laughs> you know, right? and i really hope you join more um i i hope you join the talks more because you're an awesome addition and i love where you're going with this Perhaps gratitude exists in our mindsets and our minds waiting for us to access it. I would see that's what I was looking at because there's so many levels to your question of where gratitude exists and where that energy exists. Right. So I, gosh, I like, I like it. I'm not going to claim I have an answer. I don't know. <laughs> My answer right now will be, I don't know. And I'm going to work on that one. <laughs> that's awesome. If, I mean, I've met people that like, well, what is gratitude? How do you, how do you do, how do you be grateful? And because the concept is just so new to them, they haven't had 
a TV or internet or anything their whole life and they're just like being introduced to it. And there's, you're right, there's on so many levels, which is so cool because I think, again, I think we can, we all have our own forms of gratitude. It's just being thankful is like, for example, when I'm, I'm <laughs> my roommate or my ex roommate now, but she's my bestest friend. We used to be like in the morning, I do my affirmations, you know, she's outside with me and we'd be like, I'm, I'm grateful for my jacket. I'm grateful for the light. I'm grateful for the sky. I'm grateful for whatever. And we would just be super silly and like had so much fun with it, but like practice it. And then literally you just start naturally becoming grateful for everything. And I mean, we just did that as silly girls every morning, but it, there's so many levels and there's no right or wrong way to be grateful. I don't think, do you think Adam? No. And I just want to read a couple of the comments for anybody that's on Facebook live. So we're on blab today. That's where we're shooting it live and you can see all the comments and also um, Tiffany and uh, please ask your question, Chad. Um, but some of the cool things that have been typed, I believe gratitude brings us closer to a state of love. I completely agree with that. Um, I mean, that's a that's a big uh, that's a big ooh the default. I'm a fan of that too. Um, I have not heard of that. That's good. I I love I like to hear more about it too. Uh, <laughs> please, Chad, get, ask your question. I'll bring it up. <laughs> I agree in being humble also. Um, and I and you so you asked me the question of is there any wrong way to express gratitude? I would say we're all learning this together. I don't have all the answers, possibly. I would just argue that you we want to just think about what's going to uplift us and what's going to make us um alt and I don't when I say us, I don't mean just yourself, I mean everyone else. So something that I do that's pretty simple, but um I do it really consistently. Um, and it's one of the things I do on my YouTube channel is I talk about giving a gift of gratitude. And a gift of gratitude is basically you doing something without expecting anything in return. And I think that if that's the root, if that's kind of the root cause is just saying, how could I be a better influence or how can I be a uh, benefit just mankind? Um, I don't think that, you know, obviously, you know, there's some, some things that could go wrong. I mean, there's been some self-righteous people in the past, but I think, um, if we're doing it out of love, I, I would hope that we're going in the right direction. And whether that's correct or not, I mean, time tells, right? <laughs> we don't know for certain if the acts we do are going to be correct. The default state is what your brain is doing when you are resting. Huh. So is it when you're in subconscious state or... Um, I think an untrained brain, and I, I completely agree with you, but if you're like, for example, I think it could go both ways. Your untrained brain. You already know the answer. When you're not one, programming it or whatever, then I wouldn't you're wear not, any at all. You're just being influenced. <laughs> so I think whatever is in your outside atmosphere is what is the untrained side, whether it's negative or positive or joy, happy, whatever. And it kind of all goes down to neuro-linguistic programming, which I'm a huge fan of. And um, I think that like, for example, I don't watch TV. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't have anything negative in my environment because I know how our brains work. And literally we learn there's so much going on in our environment, even though we can't even see the stuff that's going on most of the time. I mean, there's so much stuff that we can't see because we don't use 100% of our brain. But Okay, so if you have music that's all like harsh or, or you know negative or whatever, if you have music that's bringing joy and like making you feel good and that's in the background and you're not really paying attention, kind of like a form of um, subliminal, then your brain, whether you realize it or not, is absorbing that in some way. So whatever piece of information is going on in your environment, your brain is absorbing it. The secret goes into this. And it's a lot of information. So it's really just like choose whatever you're trying to create to be in your atmosphere. Like I, I don't, I create, I wanna, I'm a harmony creator. I wanna spread love and positivity. So I have positive stuff. I have quote sayings everywhere. I'm a super dork like that. And I have stuff in the background that makes me just, my soul feel good, my soul smile. And that has over the years has like reprogrammed my brain in that aspect. And it could go in any aspect. If you want to create negativity, it's the same thing. It's all the same science. And a lot of people aren't aware really of how fragile our brains are. 
even just conversations or even the words you speak. That's why I like to make words that when I'm thinking negative, I, I, I substitute that with a different word that makes me, trains my brain to automatically redirect to the positive state. No, I completely agree. And I don't know what the, um, I'll tell you a big changing point in my life. So it was it actually, and cause we have a neuroscience fan on the line. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, uh, something that I read a long time ago might be misquoting, but you'll see some of the, some of the value in it, in my opinion. So when I was younger and I remember when this started, when I was younger, so there was this myth that our brains essentially are, um, kind of like they're stagnant, like you, it'll always look the same. You have the same amount of brain cells or same amount of uh, whatever you want to call it, mass that you will um, in the future and that it can only deteriorate, that the, it did, there wasn't much in terms of, um, of science talking about synapses and the way they change and the way that they form into new pathways because we still don't really know everything. We haven't even scratched the surface on anything. Um, but that being said, once I understood um, once I understood that, that, that what I had been fed when I was younger about, about the brain was not necessarily correct, I mean, that changed everything for me. It was kind of like, like changing limitations from what I thought could be possible and then told me, you know what, if I want to learn a new skill, I can do it. Um, so just something simple. Like I remember when I was really young, a thought process I, I had was basically that, you know, I wasn't the best, let's call it at math. So this is a true story. I never really, um, never really thought about it, to be quite honest. I just assumed that that was something I wasn't good at. My parents, they weren't good at it. It was passed on to me. I never really thought about the amount of time I actually spent in it. Once I found out this little bit of information about the brain and how it works, I taught myself how to use a financial calculator in a weekend. I basically spent, geez, it was like 30 hours straight. And I just went through the book and I taught myself how to use it. Um, had never taken an accounting class, never did anything like that before. Um, I mean, I had other other backgrounds in ec economics, things like that, but I didn't have like that formal training. And in my adult life, I taught myself how to use a calculator and I use it to this day for a, a ton of um, complex calculations and things that I currently do. But it was really just based off of taking that limitation off. So when we talk about that, I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> I'm all about unlocking the potential. So I'm a fan too. Yeah, absolutely. And it's important because when we're being raised and influenced and when we're children, it's not like, you know, we're not free to make our own decisions or like force or train or to think of a certain way. Or if your family is religious, you're raised a certain religion or and then you get to the point where you're an adult and you can find out for yourself. And I'm a huge advocate of doing your own research, finding, doing your own investigating, learn ask questions, just gather knowledge, and then making your own decision. Don't let anybody else in the world make a decision of how you are, you want to be, or live, or what do you want to do? I mean, it's ultimately, you know inside, you know yourself, your your soul knows, and you are you feel it. So like, hey, I like to promote independent yeah. thinking, and then I'm grateful for like parents and stuff, but some of us aren't always fortunate enough to have the parents that have a good life. I'm just, I'm just hey. saying hi to everybody on Facebook but, uh, to get on Blab. That's where the conversation's taking place. Hey, sorry, hey, sorry to interrupt. Okay, go ahead. That's okay. But I love the fact that, like, once you become an adult and um, you know you become aware of things and you have, you can make your own decisions. And I love the fact I, I admire the people that have lived such have been brought up in such a um a challenging way and then they they do their own investigative work and then they make their own decisions and think on their own and make their own decisions according to what they find is true for them like i never try to convince anyone of anything i don't try to change people i know that's not even possible and that's not my place it's nobody's place to change people but i like providing information from my own experience and is it right i don't know is it wrong i don't know i'm just me like that's just what i do take it and hopefully it helps something or someone or just one piece of information is awesome. But I just do me and Adam, you do the same. You just do you. And I, I would love it if it helps people, but I'm still doing what I'm doing because I'm in my element. And I think like, that's so cool. I've met so many people who have 
completely change their thinking and reprogram their mind because they're brought up like their parents are like, Oh, you're not worthy you to do this. No, you can never do that. And they're like, screw you. Watch me. Like I'm going to do it. And I, <laughs> my own person. And, <laughs> like, I love that. Okay. When I first saw your YouTube channel, <laughs> what really got me hooked was your first two minutes when you're like, give the gift of gratitude. I'm like, Oh my God, I love this guy. I have to work with him on some level. And like, it was just so cool. It was so natural. And then you're like, I'm all about like spreading the love. I'm like, yes, like we need more people like that. And it was awesome. Like, and I love the fact that you came up with that. And so it's free. It is free. And it goes so, such a long way. And the ripple effect it creates too. And it's Congratulations. Well, thank you. you. And I, I mean, it, all, it brought <laughs> us all together. Like I said, this isn't about me. This is about the community and just bringing us all together. I mean, I'm just a little baby, small person in it all. But like you said in the comments, it's hard to get this message to the people who who really need it. The So my thought process is one at a time. <laughs> so like one, one at a time, one person in a and chat, it, one person at a, mm -hmm. and the, the interesting thing, and the reason why I encourage people to, um, to go about even doing it themselves, even if it's not, you know, not everybody wants to be public, but whether it's write an article or what, whatever you want to do is because not everybody is going to resonate to my voice. Not everybody's going to resonate to Tiffany's voice. It's all about just multiplication. It's just saying, well, the more people we have out there talking about it and just being positive in whatever manner you're comfortable with, by the way. So it doesn't have to be doing a live blab or it doesn't have to be anything. It's even just participating. So everybody in the room right now is adding to the energy. That's the whole point. Um, so even in just doing that, Absolutely. that's where these things kind of build. Is it's just it's just fun. I I never thought just throwing it out there. I didn't think when I started putting up videos on YouTube that I'd be doing a live blab with Tiffany. How'd that happen? I don't know. <laughs> it's completely random, but it's fun and it's and it's a lot. And I know that, and that lets me know, by the way, that it's working and that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing is just you know passing on that positive energy. Yeah, that's awesome. I think it's like, it, all, it also goes to like, when you're vibrating at a certain frequency too, you're gonna attract the same like vibrations. Like with Adam, like I literally, Peter, it was funny cause I was, I was thinking of doing something with the gratitude show anyways. And then I, I get in contact with him and he's like, yeah, I do this gratitude show on Periscope. I'm like, Oh my gosh, like this think, is so crazy. I want to do gratitude. I think to get on like, there, there's something there's awesome. a link and on the I attracted that my web page right now. There should be a the link same. there, not and the I web like, page, but like, on the um, like the text, but, uh, uh, and it's cool how the universe works. And if you study the law of attraction more, you understand frequencies and vibrations and stuff. That's that's basically what oh, I'm my Facebook about. wall, that's what it is. There's a link on the Facebook wall I just put up there. Um so am I right, Tiffany, when I click the share button? Um, that goes to my Facebook wall. There's a link there and then somebody can join from there, I think. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to interrupt. But um, I think so. Or if you, do you see a Facebook button? Yeah, or if you just go to Blab, no. they look, how, do, how does someone look the show up if they just go to Blab just in general? They just go on there and just type in your name or my name or I don't know. Um, here, I'll type it in and then you can forward it. Got it. Right now, the server is under mine, so it's Tiff or Blab I am. Okay. Uh, I am slash Tiffany C World. Okay. And then also, if people follow follow you or follow me, um, they can get notified when we schedule a show or whenever we go so live. You just go on Facebook and then, or go on Blab, and if you look under Ask Adam Torres, you'll see it. So I'm listed there. So just Ask Adam Torres. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. So if you just click on the profile, so ask Adam Torres, they'll see it and they'll see them live. Okay. That's awesome. So we've been doing this show once a week, um, Wednesday night. I do YouTube videos every day. I release a video on this and my YouTube channel is uh, Mr. Century City. So if you just t literally type that in Google or if you type it in, um, in YouTube, um, then you'll see it there It just Mr. Century City. Um, I'm the first one that comes up. So I release one every day. Um, but it's, uh, the goal really is to do more. <laughs> so I do a lot of other promotions. So does Tiffany. And that's why I say, man, I'd love if everyone did one, <laughs> this would be fun. <laughs> I want to plug in sometimes too, and just say, and get your energy too. I love it. <laughs> and, uh, 
Oh, I'm sorry, you cut out. I am. Um, I I love your YouTube channel. Your YouTube channel is awesome. You guys should check it oh, out. I just you. typed typed it in Mr. Century City. Um, but like, it's all about. It's not about him. He's like, I'm just I'm just doing me, and I'm spreading the love and gratitude. He wants. He's all about like spreading love and compassion in the world, which is we really need it. And that's why I absolutely loved working with him because that's my purpose is to spread love and compassion and absolutely come from that area in all areas of my life and it's, it's challenging but i've i've okay so i had an epiphany last night Do it. <laughs> adam i was kind of talking to you about this like there's two there's two basic um emotions feelings whatever and it's love or hate i mean fear love or fear you can't do both at the same time if you think you're doing both at the same time that's an oxymoron and it's an illusion because Love, if you're in this state of love, there is no room for fear. I'm talking about just like fear could be hate, jealousy, anger, rage, revenge. There's so many levels of that. And then love, compassion, um, being grateful, like giving back, you know, loving your neighbor, whatever. But there's like, there's no, you can't do two at the same time. So, but what happens is both can be an influence in each other's lives, like, or each other's aspects. And I was telling Adam about like an hourglass, like, you know, an hourglass, you flip it for time and it goes one way, right? It's kind of like, that's how I like to use the analogy to think about it. It's just, I, it works for my brain for some reason. So if you're flipping the hourglass and your love's coming out, there's no room for, for fear because you're in, if you're, when you're vibrating in that high state of love, full love, you don't think about fear because it's not even an, an, it's not even a subject or an option or anything. But if you're thinking in the state of fear, it's weird because it creates more fear and it takes love to, you know, counteract that. That's why like when, my best friend and I were talking and I don't mean to girls are mean. I'm sorry. When you're growing up and going through school, they're just vicious and mean. And we were talking about insecurity and cause my best friend and I, I mean, she is the most beautiful woman I've ever met. She's so hot, like, and beautiful on the inside and outside. And like, <laughs> we never compete. We're never, we just, we are just on the same level. We love each other so much. We compliment each other all the time. And like, we we're thinking about it. We're like, wow. Like, Women who are so secure and sure with themselves, they come from a certain aspect that like, they don't get jealous. They don't, they don't compete with each other. They don't see that side because they're, they see, they see the love and love only. So, and then like, we we're talking about grade school, you know, I, I graduated high school at 16. I was like, I'm out of here. See you guys. Cause I do not like this. <laughs> like <laughs> it was on a way different level, but, um, so yeah, when you're, it all sends down to yourself, like how you feel on the inside is going to vibrate outside. And then, so there's emotions of jealousy, fear, insecurity, everything, hate, it stems from fear. Then like the opposite of fear is love. And and the again, the secret, I know I always practice the secret and preach it, but I love it, my favorite, so I can't help it. Don't but they have like this chart on thing. it. And oh, it oh, don't it. say that like that's a bad thing. That's a great thing. No, I know. It's, <laughs> I've offended people, so I, I'm no, just saying. No oh <laughs> that's God. just that's me. awesome. Thank you for sharing that. That brings nothing but positivity in the world. So that's good. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. So in the in the secret, they have this chart with you know one side is love and one side is here, and they have all the aspects and the qualities, and then their their perspective of it is about feeling. Like you can't when you're feeling down and out and depressed and just sad, you know, you're in a low vibration, um, but transferring over to the high vibration, when you're transferring, I mean, you can't really be in both vibrations at the same time. You transition, but owning both, I mean, you have to be present in one because it just doesn't work. It's in sometimes, and I've met, and it's usually people when I was doing my case studies in college for psychology, that do think that they vibrate in both levels, but that's an illusion. And I would love your opinion on this, Adam, and all you guys too, about like the basis of fear and love. Like, do you guys, do you guys agree with that concept? 
Oh, I definitely do. And I, I, well, I, I agree with your comment too. Do you believe certain cities vibrate along the fear love continuum based on the collective energy of the individuals? Yeah. Absolutely. And I feel it by the way. So I know this cause I've lived in a lot of different places and I can do, um, well, not a ton, but a decent amount. Um, and I would say that the energy, I mean, I, I, even I would even say even small cities. So meaning it doesn't have to be like a large proximity. I can tell you that the energy in Beverly Hills versus Hollywood, completely different energy. I mean, you can literally feel when you're in a different area um, in a lot of these little pockets. Um, I mean, it's just a completely different. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but you can feel it. It's like you're walking through something thick. I don't know. And then and then and then even on a larger scale. Like I can think about the different the difference I feel when I'm in. Um, yeah, exactly. I completely agree with that. And like I was gonna, I was actually gonna use that comparison. I was gonna say I could think about being in a small town in Indiana versus, let's say, Mexico City or you know something like that. Oh, we got a caller. Do you know how to do that, Tiffany? I don't know how. I do. <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome. Um, you you just put on the oh, is that what Dr. Corey accept? <laughs> awesome, Very good, Dr. Corey. Oh, welcome. Hi, Dr. Corey. How are you? How are you? <laughs> so good to see you. Hey, Michael. Hello. How's it going? Absolutely awesome. Hey, so always. we're on Blab right now, and this is how you find us. I mean, uh, so this is where the most of the conversation is going. So, what what did you want to talk about? I don't know if you've Dr. ever been Corey, in Blab before, but that's what we're trying to. Uh, it's, that's where all the conversation's going on, Michael. But glad uh -huh. to have you here. I just want to show. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I was just I, doing an update. Update. I do, <laughs> keep on Facebook. So did you have I do. Um, Am I what? Uh, I like. You, you hear me, you guys? I can hear you just fine, Dr. Corey. Oh, yeah. I uh, do, yeah, uh, do a research on frequency consciousness or telepathic uh, communications. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, me and my wife practice law of attraction, uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, we read the book and we communicating within those uh, alignment of uh, these, you know, these, these concepts. Absolutely. Awesome. Yes. So what, what are some experiences? Could you share an experience in your life that just, you know, let's just say if I was to ask you, so this is our first time obviously meeting or talking, Dr. Corey. So if I say, okay, pre-studying this versus post, can you give me just like an example of how maybe it's made a difference in your life? Well, from the very, be That's a good from the very start, I was a very intuitive child when I was only a few years old. And uh, there was a uh, visual auditory um, uh, experiences, for example, that I had, and then it progressed into me going into psychology and became a researcher. Wow! And all of that in my life uh, with my academics, and then after that, mm -hmm. I decided not to go for licensure because it's uh, beyond the parameters of uh, licensing laws. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to surrender my license after I received it. So I just uh, decided to go for consulting and then pursue uh, to um, create methods for people to get into this conversation. And now uh, I created that Dreams Come True University, which is in frequency. Mm. It's, an, it's an entertainment platform. Oh, that's wonderful. So you've dedicated, it sounds like, a big, I'm type a big that part in of your that. life to, to this research, it sounds like. Absolutely. Well, it's a, it's a dedication, it's a commitment, and it is a business for me. Because uh, my the triangle that I work in is life and career coaching and business consulting in the central platform or portal that I created uh, with these methods, which is uh, called Dreams Come True University, that allows people to become uh, aligned with the frequency of their own or channel their own frequency frequencies in, in their own life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what would you say... 
Did you hear about that case study? Sorry, go no, ahead. No, I was just going to say, so like in your personal life, can you just give me an example of like what this study's done in your personal life? So I get, I understand your business and I, I actually think that's pretty amazing. I'm just curious about who you are. That's all. Yeah. In my personal life, well, I if never... you don't mind sharing, by the way, I don't mean to be yeah, you know, yeah. so intrusive, no, I, but I just know I, I like connections with people. That's all. And I love your business, by the way. I'm excited. I'm going to look at your link. I'm pretty pumped, but I just want to know who you are. That's all. Yeah, I'm I'm 100% uh, basically, you know, personally, professionally and politically involved in this. Wow. So mm -hmm. the, the way I created... Uh, this whole platform for people to come and join and uh, continue the conversation is that uh, I have a frequency evaluation um, audition, I call it. Mm -hmm. uh, because people, uh, when they shift to different chakra consciousness of their own, mm -hmm. their voices changes, their demeanor changes, their feeling changes, their... Um, their whole vibes change and that attracts a different type of a, a musical algorithm, if you will, mm -hmm. when they meet with another person in that uh, alignment uh, of that frequency. So, for example, if you uh, start to raise your chakra or energies uh, into levels that are of a higher consciousness or deeper, mm -hmm. uh, it 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 you you jump into a different plane and because of that you attract mutually mutually you attract people you're either drawn to them and they're drawn to you simultaneously mm -hmm. you put that oh you no put that beautifully. I, you're, I love you're spot on i agree i can't claim that i've done the research you have but i just see it all the time well, well i it's amazing I have two PhDs, one in uh, business and one in uh, one in psychology, and one mm -hmm. master's in marital family therapy and one master's in science of law. So what you're saying is you're going to be here every Wednesday hanging out. That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the reason the reason I did that was because I needed the vocabularies to to align with all these frequencies in different. Uh, uh, like realms to be able to put it into some kind of a poetic uh, communication because it's not sequential. Mm -hmm. It's not sequential, it's, it's consequential. Mm -hmm. In other words, I improvise in order to communicate with you. I don't think about any, like, a, you know, like how uh, people from the, you know, let's say east like i'm i'm jewish from iran so mm -hmm. people over there like in israel or whatever from the east like people read from um right to left yep. in in, mm -hmm. in in english you read from right mm -hmm. i mean from left, left to right, right. Mm -hmm. so but when you are in that central consciousness you're almost channeling that that the left and right becomes like a quantum computing, like it mm -hmm. becomes zero and one becomes zero one in a sense, mm -hmm. simultaneously. So it's so, like a page. Yes, yeah, so actually nothing exists. Mm -hmm. It's not zero and it's not one. So it, it's so any conceptual thing that actually we have about uh, law of attraction is not law of attraction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or any anything that we have a concept of what what the frequency is is not the frequency mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because frequency is like it's what the, you think or what your perception is of it. What is that? Is it what your perception is of it? <clears throat> like as a as a human being, that each perception of it, like is that how you determine um, what it is, and is it? Is it just is? It's not right or wrong. It just is according to you. It's, like, it's, is it's, that what you mean? We are all, let me put it this way. We are all frequencies. We are all energy. We are all uh, that uh, ether, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. But in order to put your voice in alignment with that tune of frequency of what has created the universe, mm -hmm. it's like you saying... I want to feel, or I would be, be saying anyone, like, 
it would be like saying, I want to feel what God feels. Mm -hmm. In a sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I love what you're about. Thank absolutely. you so much. For me on. No, that's... Uh, I would love to pick your... And this was the whole <laughs> point. So this just lets me know we're building the community. That's the whole point. Like for you to share... I'm grateful for you. I mean, for you to share that wealth of knowledge and all those years of experience and all that work you went through to obtain those degrees, I understand what you were saying. And I actually followed a lot of the, I see that some of the disciplines that you went through in your explanation. And um, I just say you did it very fluently. And I know you're somebody that, that has been studying exactly what they're talking about because uh, it, everything you said lined up makes sense. And they also talk about the chakras and the um, different levels and planes. I've witnessed it. I can't claim that I've, I've felt all of it myself, but I've seen it. I've seen it and I've experienced and I've been a part of different things and I don't know what level or plane I'm at yet, but I know that I'm on my journey. And mm -hmm. when I, when, when experiences like this happen, I also know I'm on the right direction because I can, I can just feel it. Yeah, because many people are so um, into um, like industrial age, the dinosaurs, uh, we call them now. Yes. And they just know how to, how to follow the rules of what, for example, during the uh, industrial age, they just followed the script or the how-to to, uh, basically for people to survive on assembly lines. Uh, but then with the information age, people have learned how to regurgitate a lot of information. So they still, you know, hey I guys, mean, so we're on Blab. I don't know if you've ever used that platform. Oh, is that coming through? Sorry. <laughs> Keep talking, please. Yeah. So like what I'm saying is that, you know, with information age now, we are, we are basically uh, just passing around a lot of um you know, information, which now we are kind of bored of, you know, it's like regurgitating a lot of information. Now, uh, you know, so people know how to take order, people know how to talk about, uh, you know, these studies, but still they don't know how to collaborate to mm -hmm. use that as a language. And frequency consciousness is about language. And if we get into this collaborative language, that's another threshold that we're going to uh, leap into, that, uh, which is called intelligence age of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are just at a verge of consciousness of that, but we do need to start from ourselves because the next promised land for people is where at the center of their heart what that frequency exists. And uh, one, that's one so thing crazy. You said that, Dr. Court. I literally had a. Sorry, Adam, no. go ahead. I, I had a two hour conversation with someone who I've been waiting for three months to talk to. And we, we literally, because I've been, I've been learning too that it's, you said it in a different way, but how I've been taught is it's like the age of a conscious awakening. And um, I guess. It, it was totally around that realm. And I can't believe that. And that's a perfect example of how you're talking about frequencies attract the same frequencies. I, like I said, I, I honestly had a two hour conversation about what you're just explaining today. And I absolutely agree that it's, it's coming of that era. You know, we go through different eras in, in life and in the world and history. And it's coming to the sense where people are becoming more awake and they're waking up to, to the possibilities and they're waking up to themselves and that's awesome thank you so much for saying that because that just confirmed a Absolutely. lot of, of and, what's going and on and in one my theme life. that Love you it. mentioned a couple of times it. with you said it but you didn't necessarily elaborate on it it'd be interesting to hear you though and i because i i i feel some of the importance of it but you said so one one thing you said was you'd spent all this time studying so you so you would know the proper language um, and then a lot of the language you use is very fluent. And then you also talked about the, uh, you didn't use the word collective. I, I don't recall the exact language you used, but in terms of us all coming into that type of consciousness, the interesting thing to me there is there's a common denominator, which is language. And that um, it does take, and for us all to be on that same kind of like pathway or for us to all um, be in that type of consciousness, um, 
I think interacting and being part of things like this or and and socializing, that's the way we learn a lot of things, um, is part of learning that language. Um, could you maybe speak for a moment or two on just your concept of language? Because I'm, I'm based on your background. Also, I have a feeling you have you know multiple and that you've studied quite a bit and you may know uh, multiple languages. I mean, I have I know multiple languages of English because oh, okay. uh, in high school, my major was English and then I went uh, to college. And uh, I touched on many different subjects because, and, and philosophies and uh, religions and uh, sciences and all of that because I, I was hungry for vocabulary because I had so much intuition in me. I didn't know how to, you know, like a person who has a lot of ideas but doesn't know how to yes. talk about these ideas. So I didn't know how to explain myself and, uh, you know, I would confuse people. You know, I was like, th I'm, I'm like throwing up words, you know, yes. and uh, people are like, you know, just scratching their head and it's like, what, what, what are you trying to get at? You know, like I'm lost, you know? So it was like a very schizophrenic type of uh, idealistic experience, uh, like an mm -hmm. artist trying to talk. Yes. Who's, 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 who's on like acid type. Who of, hasn't uh, found his medium either. Yeah. He hasn't found his medium to. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it. just like a, you know, like a high person that, you know, is saying a lot of things and is going, wow, look at that. And, uh, and, but nobody knows what it is you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I had to, uh, you know, be <laughs> able to, um, get into this, uh, soup of languages and start to, you know, eat this nutritious food because mm -hmm. there is some words that I was looking for to, ha to have the right alignment with these frequencies that I was feeling. So I created this kind of a nutritious soup with all these words, uh, vocabularies of English, uh, because English has many different facets in America and different mm -hmm. uh, backgrounds and, uh, and philosophies. Uh, whether it's, uh, you know, business, law, or uh, psychology, or uh, 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 mysticism, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have one language that would basically relate to all different kinds of things. And then when I, uh, I went into, finally, after all this academic and research, so I went and found uh, something practical, which, is, which was, uh, you know, I, I digged into um, a course in miracles. Mm -hmm. And A Course in Miracles, I became, you know, I put 10 years of my life and I really digged into it and, wow. and became a fac facilitator of this uh, and became a teacher, a student and a dedicator of kind of, you know, I became, you know, I'm on the list. Uh, uh, I don't know if they still have my name over there. Sometimes they, you know, um, maybe update. Uh, and so anyways... Um, a Course of Miracles was a platform for me with a great vocabulary because it was very poetic and uh, used the words in channeling because they channeled to write that uh, A Course mm -hmm. in Miracles. Then for years and years passed and then I came across uh, Abraham Hicks uh, or Esther Hicks' book, uh, Law of Attraction. Very nice. And then that, that blew me away because she was so natural with channeling and talking to people, uh, you know, for the spirits on the other side okay. or, or like, you know, looking into the mirror and like the other person being the spirit of, uh, of her, uh, you know, in that reflection of the mirror in a sense. And that was, uh, you know, she, she's very natural about it too. Basically, she has a very beautiful way of channeling and putting things into words. So I became a, yeah, like a, she's like, yeah, a, she's um, like a, what did she say? She's an antenna. Yeah. That, so, you know? so, so being able to put that in such a beautiful poetic mm -hmm. articulation, it's a mastery. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I actually learned from her and I, you know, polished my, mm -hmm. you know, uh, skills and I created the method uh, of uh, dreams come true coaching. Mm -hmm. hashtag so anyone can adopt this and in an entertaining way because mm -hmm. it's an entertainment platform or portal anybody can adopt it and whether they want to make fun of it whether they want to put a statement in there or they want to teach in their own 
sure. university in a sense, you know. So anybody can do it. But the thing is that the collaboration or collective consciousness, like you use the collectiveness of it, it's something that, again, people get to be in this uh, uh, dreams come true island of everybody who comes in this, into this uh, uh, platform can actually channel their own frequency. Awesome. That's everybody, great. Everybody has the capability. It's just you have to learn how. I mean, we all have... We all have abilities to, for example, I mean, I believe we're all, we're all psychic in some level. It's just to what level are you practiced in and, and what level have you trained in and taught yourself? In? I mean, obviously we all have different but gifts, I do, but I, do, I love your. Thank you. I do coach uh, psychics because psychics, they know how to read the, for example, the palm. Uh, get an impression from people. They're empaths. Like I, I'm, I'm an empath, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, were you an indigo child? I was an empath since, I mean, I could identify with being empathic or naturally telepathic, if you will. Um, and, yeah. So, but you said earlier, naturally, uh, as, as young, I mean, indigo children are those type of children that they're obviously, or crystal children, crystalline children. Are you familiar with that? Yes. Uh, You're probably an indigo child. You know what? Indigo children, uh, as they claim, um, their telepathic consciousness that I, I have been, you know, started this research and all, uh, you know, I mean, you could say that it's, uh, you know, part of law of attraction. And she says that in the book, uh, it's said about telepathy. And uh, it's a communication. And that, that communication oh. has a language. Mm -hmm. And that language People who are telepathic like myself, like people, I mean, I, I don't want to claim like I, I don't want to label myself because it's not if, if I if anyone, for example, just for the sake of conversation, if anyone says I'm telepathic, they are not. So I'm just trying to make a point, in other words, that uh, people who are intuitive, mm -hmm. people who are telepathic or empathetic, there are people who don't need to talk at all, but they do make a point when they talk because they're mm -hmm. channeling so i i gave 99 percent of, of of all my books and records to the salvation army because i wanted to burn the bridges and not have these books and you know all this paperwork around me because i wanted to just get into that frequency 100 percent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i realized by the growth or evolving in that area the less and less and less and less i needed to talk to people you can make a point and people get it and you move on. Mm -hmm. It's like, the, I, 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 uh, like uh, you know, I, I shrank my conversation maybe to, you know, from two-thirds. I, mean, uh, uh, I mean, three out of three, I, I shrank it to one out of three, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. I get it. No, this is, this is all great. And I, I want to, con you can continue the conversation as long as you like, Tiffany or Dr. Corey. I appreciate everybody, but I have to go. I have another engagement. <laughs> so thank you for showing up. Okay, I'm wait, gonna... hang on. Time up. Before you guys go, let me just, let me just wrap this up on, on our recording, Adam. So why don't you close this out and I'll stop recording. We'll leave everything open, Dr. Corey. So I'm just going right. to stop the recording. <laughs> go ahead, Adam. All right. Thank you everybody for joining. Join us here next thank week. You. Come on. What time? 9.30, what day? Wednesday, come on, 9.30 p.m., I should say, Pacific Standard Time. This is, <laughs> But I'm going to take off right now. Thank you again, uh, Tiffany T., as always, yeah. pleasure. Dr. Corey, really appreciate you being the guest star today and giving all that insight. I'm a, I'm a fan, and I can't wait to hear more from you, hopefully, in the future. Um, myself, um, Adam Torres, so Mr. Century City, Check out my YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. My channel is Mr. Century City. And let's pause the recording. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Have a good week, everyone.